All right, guys. I know you probably thought you'd seen the last of me for 2014, but I was online looking around today, and I noticed something, and I thought, man, I should probably uh, share that with you all, so uh, maybe it'll help you uh, with the ordering of your CNC parts uh, a little easier. Uh, I was online, and I was looking at the Dumpster CNC website, which is the company that makes the... Um, the anti-backlash uh, Acme nuts and the, the little couplers and all that stuff and you're probably not going to be able to see this real good because I think my printer was about out of ink and started printing it out pink looking but anyway if you go to the the main uh, the home page I guess of dump, dumpster CNC and if you look over here on to, which will be the, the left of your screen there's a, he's got a little uh, thing here that says kits. And the first one there, it says Sidewinder CNC kit. Well, if you click on that, it will take you to this right here. And you can see, or maybe you can see this, it says anti backlash kit for Sidewinder CNC router. Uh, so apparently, Tim over at uh, Dumpster CNC has put together this kit. And it's got, so actually, you can just order it as a kit. And then what you're getting is four of the lead nuts, uh, four of the couplers, and then it also shows four of the flanges, that uh, .98 cut down flange. But anyway, basically all that is, that's the type of the flange. You can get them round with three holes, I think. And I use the one where it's cut down 980 with uh, two holes. So, you know, that's just a personal preference. That's the way I've always done it. But anyway... Uh, Tim, uh, like I said, over at Dumpster CNC has put together that kit where you can order it and you'll get exactly what you need for the, uh, the machine if you're building it from the plans that I made. So thank you, Tim, from uh, Dumpster CNC. A big uh, shout out to you. Uh, that really makes it nice for these guys to uh, be able to order it and make sure they're getting the right thing. Another thing I saw is uh, if you go to the Xylotex website, uh, and I, I always get some questions about this, so that's why I wanted to get on here. If you go to the Xylotex website and you click on the, he's got a list of stuff here. If you click on the one that says drive boxes, it will take you to an assortment of all the different uh, three and four axis drive box kits that, that, that he sells. And, and what my good buddy Jeff at Xylotex has done is he's even put in the, uh, in the description of these things, and I put my glasses on here so I can read this. It says, if you are building the CNC router from Dave Gatton, yours truly, uh, I would recommend getting this drive box. And he's, he's recommending uh, this one right here. The part number is 4 ax underscore 36 V underscore 425 underscore DB and I'll list that in the video and probably in the description here um, this is a uh, four axis kit uh, looks like 36 volt and it's using 425 ounce steppers I've always used the 269 ounce steppers uh, I don't have a problem with them that's that's what I've always used the big difference between what what he's selling now and what uh, I have always used in the past uh, the ones I have on my machine are 1 8 steppers so these are now that I guess when you order them that he uh, ships them as 1 16 step uh, uh, micro steps so the big difference there is when you're setting up your Mach 3 and you're doing your steps per unit in my case since I've got 1 8 step uh, steppers I put 3200 in for that uh, if you order these and they're 1 16 step you'd be putting 6400 instead of 3200 so that's that's the main difference there but uh, I, again thanks to Jeff at Xylotex for kind of helping uh, helping y'all figure out which ones you need uh, and and Jeff's not going to steal you wrong he uh, he knows what he's talking about so and they're a great product I highly recommend it Okay, another thing I thought I would uh, point out, I don't know that I've ever mentioned this before, but when you get one of these kits from Xylotex, it comes with a uh, parallel, what is it called, a uh, par uh, parallel cable. 
uh, straight through parallel cable that you use from the back of the controller to the back of your computer. Uh, it comes with a three foot one. Uh, and, I, and I think he does sell on here as well. I think he sells three foot ones if you want to buy an extra one. But what I like to do is if you go to McMaster Car, you can order uh, a shielded computer cord, the, the, an RS-232 DB25 male to female, and it's, a, it's wired straight through. Uh, and they're like uh, about seven bucks, six dollars and ninety-two cents. And this is for a six-foot one. And what I've done, I think I've had so many extra ones. You can see I've got my computer sitting over here. And of course my controller box is up under this table. I've actually got like a six footer and I think two three footers connected so I probably got like a total of 12 feet um, and, it, and it, you know it makes it easier if you if you don't want to have your computer sitting right next to where your machine is and it helps to keep the, the dust and stuff away from from your computer if you have it have it set a little farther away so the McMaster car part number for that is 7925k 63 and I'll also put that in the video and probably list it down below too so uh, just like I said it's a straight through six foot parallel cable makes it uh, makes it nice because it gives you a little a little more separation with your computer there okay and while I'm on here doing plugs I might as well mention again uh, uh, where I got my bearings for both of those uh, builds that I did and any future builds I get, uh, do what that would come from there and that's from a company called Access Bearings in uh, I think they're in Boca Raton Florida but uh, and I've also got a link on my website there uh, to them but it's the, uh, the the bearings that I used was the RM2ZZ uh, he's got those actually listed right here that he's now supplying those so and, and I think he's uh, probably got the best price that I've seen on those anywhere so again you're, you're getting, a, getting a good plug there uh, for access bearings but uh, anyway that's uh, kind of all I wanted to talk about today I, like I said I get some questions in fact I've got a couple of them the last um, couple of days uh, wanting to know about the part numbers for this and that and then when I, I when I looked on that uh, dumpster CNC, I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. He's already set it up as a kit. You just click on the Sidewinder CNC kit, and you're automatically ordering uh, everything you need. And it looks like he may have given you a price break, too, uh, uh, from rather than just order them separately like that. So that's a good deal, too. So thanks to Tim at uh, Dumpster CNC. Thanks to Jeff at Xylotex for... Uh, helping out people and uh, again thanks to access bearings for supplying the great bearings and I guess that's going to do it for this video I just wanted to uh, get on here and try to maybe clear some things up and uh, make, make it a little easier for you guys to order your parts so again uh, this is going to be the last one for 2014 and I hope you all have a happy new year thanks for all my new subscribers and we'll talk to you next year